so far we have been looking at problems in which the densities of the fluid that's entering and exiting are the same otherwise the same liquid enters and exit the pipes no matter if it's a single entry single exit or uh, single entry double exit branching pipes etc but then in nature that might not be the case always and also in engineering we might want liquids of two different densities to mix so for example let us say there is a uh, tank one with petrol and tank two with water and as you know they both have different densities and then there is a pipe and then <coughs> they both get mixed here the density of petrol is different to the density of water now my question is do you think this differing density is going to affect the mass flow rate and the volumetric flow rate what do you think hmm? <laughs> it is going to affect and we'll be looking at it based on continuity equation is that okay yeah okay now <clears throat> in this particular scenario my dear people there are two liquids liquid one with a density rho one yeah uh, is flowing with a velocity c1 and the cross sectional area here let us assume that it is coming through a pipe you know i couldn't find a photograph uh, that's the reason i've just used this and this cross sectional area is a1 and there is a liquid 2 of different density let us say this is oil and this is i do not know colored water colored water yeah having a density of rho 2 and this has got a cross sectional area a2 assuming that the diameter uh, stays the same throughout the flow yeah because we said it's flowing through a pipe at a velocity c2 yeah and it gets mixed completely over here and then it is exiting through this particular pipe of area a3 and uh, velocity c3 now since these two densities have mixed completely the density of the exiting liquid is going to be different is it not yeah so how to write a mathematical expression for this that is my question <coughs> here if you think of it the volumetric flow rate equation is not going to change whatsoever the volumetric flow rate v dot 1 v dot 2 and v dot 3 that is not going to change whatsoever so v dot 1 plus v dot 2 equals v dot 3 this is the expression but when we think of the mass flow rate aha uh -huh, that is when the problem is yeah well it's not really a problem so to say <clears throat> mass flow rate one plus mass flow rate two equals mass flow rate three the difference my dear people is over here mass flow rate m dot is nothing but density times the volumetric flow rate yes or no yeah so here density the liquid one has a different density so rho one times v dot one plus rho two which is the density two times v dot two equals rho 3 times v dot 3 this is the equation so far okay the difference is so far in the previous problems the densities have been the same so we just cancelled out the rho values but now we cannot do it any longer yeah 